hello welcome to our second example on the power visuals flow okay so in this lesson we'll go through how to solve an exam practice question on poison flow okay all right if you have not subscribed to my channel yet kindly subscribe for more videos okay so let's read the question together so we are to consider a fluid parcel flowing through two stationary power plates of interval h so like we did in our last discussion the interval between the plates is h okay which is the maximum height or maximum length the in other words it is um, the y max okay all right so this h is y max okay with speed u in the x direction and known as zero pressure gradient it means that del p del x here is not equal to zero and once we have stationary power plates okay stationary power plate but then the pressure gradient is not zero then we're actually dealing with poison flow okay all right so we are to solve these questions the first one is indicate the type of flow and the flow drivers okay and i just mentioned them okay so let's go and see the flow the type of flow is poison flow and the pressure driven flow as well so dri the drivers here is the pressure driven okay all right let's look at the second question we have to state the boundary conditions imposed on the flow so for poison flow we said you use what we call the no slip conditions and the conditions are first one u of is this u of y equals y max okay should be equal to zero and this one u of y equals zero equals zero but then the y max here is the highest possible height we can travel in the y axis okay or in the vert vertical direction and now the height between the and uh, the plate is h that means the highest possible distance you can travel is the h okay so that becomes our y max that is why i have here that u of y equals h is equal to zero all right so let's look at the next question derive the velocity distribution and shear stress of the flow type now with this we've already done this in our last discussions and i will state the formulas there but i want you to go and do it if if you if you really understand then it's okay but then in a think in a third lesson on this topic we actually treated how to derive it okay so we said it is from this d tau dy let me let me write it well for you is d tau dy should be equal to del p del s the pressure gradient and now we said tau is actually equal to mu du dy where u is our velocity okay so we use these two conditions to solve okay so in our previous lessons i've discussed on how to go by these formulas and derive them okay so now after that this is how we got our u to be that is our velocity we said it is equal to one over two mu del p del x then in one bracket y squared let me write it well y squared minus y m which is the y max so here the y max is given as what h and times y okay now our tau of y is given as a differential of u with respect to y so now if i differentiate the whole of this with respect to y i will get one over two mu del p del x okay then get two y minus h so this is what we had for the um shear stress and the velocity okay for our previous discussions we've done this and passed through the process so i hope you can go back and check if not you can even click on the three dots up here and then at the top right corner of the screen and then you find it there okay all right so let's continue now the fourth one is that you are supposed to find the maximum velocity u max here and the minimum sorry the u mean here 
and then deduce the relationship between them with, the, with these given conditions that our mu is equal to one newton seconds per meter squared okay and uh pressure gradient del p del x okay is given us na is it negative well there should be a negative here it was actually negative okay so it's negative 900 newtons per meter squared this is the actual value okay with the pressure gradient we know it is the negative this one and our interval h is given us five millimeters okay now with this five millimeters what does it mean okay, i hope you understand prefaces in science okay so let's go and then ahead and derive our formulas and solutions to this fourth question okay you are supposed to find a u mass the velocity maximum velocity and then velocity mean velocity you mean with a fluid parcel okay let's go all right so this is what we have we have uh mean to be that the a is u max and if you remember u max we said is equal to negative one over eight mu del p del x then y max squared so here is h squared because y max is h right so what we do is just put our values in okay negative one over eight then mu is one newton seconds per meter squared then times our pressure gradient which is 900 newtons per meter squared then times our h h is in millimeters so milli means 10 to the power negative 3 okay so 10 to 5 times 10 to the negative 3 meters okay then squared now you point this on your calculator okay let's take a calculator and go so have 1 over 8 times negative 900 times 5 times 10 to the negative 3 squared and um, yeah there is a negative here so i have positive 9 over 3200 okay which is the same as 2.8125 times 10 to the negative 3 meters per second okay all right so let's clean some parts and write the answer there all right so um what we have to do is we can keep the fraction there okay this is actually equal to 9 over 3200 meters per second okay or which is the same as two point okay eight one two five times ten to the negative three meters per second okay but i would advise we keep it in fractions okay but if you are doing it in exams and your solutions are in decimal then you leave your answer in decimal okay the reason is we are supposed to divide these two to get um the relationship between them okay so in order not to do any approximation let's leave it in a fraction form okay all right so with this one too we said this is u mean and we said u mean is equal to one over twelve sorry there is a negative first okay there's a negative in front of it let me write it here so that we get it well okay uh b u mean is equal to negative 1 over 12 mu del p del x then h squared okay so u mean will be equal to put everything there we have negative 1 over 12 times 1 times negative 900 okay then all of this times five millimeters then 10 to the negative three squared okay now everything will give me um i have negative
negative 1 over 12 times 1 times negative 900 times 5 times 10 to the negative 3 squared and I have 3 over 1600 okay let me erase it 1600 meters per second you can change it to decimals if you want okay but like I said since we will have to deduce a relationship between them, I have to keep it like that so my you mean is actually that okay now we can point this the next sub question in question four is that we are supposed to find the relationship between you mean and you must so divide this and see what you get okay u max over u mean if i point this on my calculator okay if i put um, 9 over 3200 divided by 3 over 1600 I have 3 over 2 and u max is then equal 3 over 2 is what 1.5 so 1.5 u mean and indeed we discussed this in our last two discussions okay that we derived a relationship between u max and u mean in Poisson flow and we said that indeed it is equal to 1.5 u mean that is u max is the same as 1.5 u mean so thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future in our next discussion go to reynolds transport theorem rtt and hope to see you there bye bye